2022 Volvo XC40 SUV. Most SUVs look very similar, almost boring sometimes, but not the Volvo XC40. You won't confuse this Swedish ride with anything else in the market, except for maybe its big sibling, the XC60. It's got an upright but classy look to it. And while this may be Volvo's smallest and most affordable SUV, the company has still seen to it outfit with a premium interior and plenty of advanced driver aids. The small XC40 can haul a family around, but not a big one. If the family is more than 3 or 4, you should step up to the larger XC60 or 3-row XC90. Otherwise, the XC40 easily satisfies and matches up well against other small premium rivals such as the Audi Q3, BMW X2, and Mercedes-Benz GLA and GLB. Volvo's subcompact XC40 SUV inherits the brand's familial good looks and packs a lot of charm into a small package. We're smitten by its comfortable ride, spacious interior and excellent optional audio system. While the front seat ergonomics and touchscreen interface could be issues for some people, overall we think the XC40 is one of the segment standouts. The XC40 feels spry overall. The turbocharged four-cylinder engine feels spunky, even if the 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 6.8 seconds isn't explosive, we tested the XC40 T5. The transmission is responsive when you need a downshift. Even the engine stop-start system is fairly unobtrusive. And while we don't expect many owners to head off-road, the XC40 can handle light-duty outings thanks to its short overhangs, all-wheel drive and 8.3 inches of ground clearance. As for handling, the XC40 feels a little top-heavy and surprisingly soft when maneuvering at speed. The compliance helps smooth out small bumps, but big bumps and undulations really make the XC40 move around. The Infiniti QX30 and the BMW X1 feel more nimble yet better tied down. The ride is surprisingly comfortable, even with the sporty R design trim level. Small bumps are easily soaked up. However, larger bumps and undulations can upset the body. The seats are comfortably firm, but not everybody fits. In particular, you might find the headrests to be angled too far forward. At highway speeds, there's a layer of consistent road noise as well as faintly detectable wind noise. You'll hear the turbo spool up regularly if you don't have any audio playing, and the engine note isn't particularly unpleasant. This cabin is not especially quiet, though it's not far off most others in this class. Most controls are accessed through the touchscreen. This design approach creates a clean interior design, but the system's maze of menus and laggy responses never fail to frustrate. Another drawback. Tall drivers might not be able to find a comfortable seating position due to limited steering wheel adjustability and the headrest design. Otherwise, the XC40's interior is quite nice. It's easy to get into and out of the relatively roomy cabin, and there's enough legroom in the back for folks of an average height. There's good visibility all around, and the large windows in the rear corners help reduce blind spots. The XC40 is suitably high-tech. The optional Harman Kardon audio system is an inexpensive step up from the base system and sounds great. You can pump in tunes with standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity via the two standard USB ports. Our test vehicle also had a wireless charging pad and rear USB ports. The integrated voice controls work well though you can switch to Siri or Google when your phone is connected. There are lots of advanced driving systems here, and most work well. The exception is forward collision warning, which registered several false positives in our testing and cannot be turned off. The XC40's cargo area is smaller according to the numbers, but it is nevertheless nicely sized and full of smart storage features. We like the 60-40th split folding rear seats, a pass-through and a foldable tray that doubles as a grocery holder. There's a variety of other storage spaces in the cabin, including a clever little removable trash bin. Felt-lined doors keep items from rattling around. Using your XC40 for kid duty? The anchors are cleanly located under flip doors, but they're buried a little deep for comfortable access. You might have the best chance of fitting a bulky rear-facing seat in this car compared to most others in the class, but it'll still be a tight fit. Our T5 all-wheel drive R design trim is EPA estimated at 25 mpg combined, which is slightly better than most AWD competitors, though the base car's mpg rating is more in line with the rest. We achieved 23.2 mpg on our 115-mile drive loop, which is more than a few mpg lower than expected. 
For the price, the XC40 makes a lot of sense if you're looking for a luxury subcompact SUV. It may not have as nice an interior build quality as other Volvos we've seen, but it's still a pleasant place to spend time. Its base price falls well below the priciest competitors, but there are others that come in a little lower. That said, the XC40 feels like a better value at its price point than many others do at theirs. The basic and powertrain warranties are slightly longer than the coverage for some competing SUVs. You also get decent free maintenance and roadside assistance coverage. The XC40 isn't as fun to drive as it would like you to believe. Though we appreciate the level of comfort in this tiny SUV, we had difficulty detecting the extra sportiness in the R design model we tested. Stiffer suspension? Really? It's not that the XC40 is a bore to drive, but the Infiniti QX30 and the BMW X1 are far more fun to fling around. It has tons of personality, though. Volvo has been on a winning streak since the redesigned XC90 hit the streets, and that Scandinavian elegance has thankfully trickled all the way down to the XC40. The XC40 didn't quite wow us the way the XC60 did, but it is still one of the standouts in the class.